Islington Boxing Gym, Saturday morning. This is pretty much what you might expect to see. But maybe not this. Welcome to chess boxing. In this hybrid sport, you take on your opponent at a round of chess and then at boxing, one after the other. Whoever loses first at either discipline loses the match. Are they serious? What do hard-boiled boxing veterans make of it all? like this gym's manager, whose father started the boxing club nearly 40 years ago. I thought but chess boxing would be a bit of a gimmick, really, as, as a, a bit of a joke in, in a way, that the two sports are so different. Chess and boxing didn't, for me, never seem to go together. But I must say I've been converted and I, I fully respect what they do. I can't envisage how I would be after coming out of a, a round of boxing to sit down to play a game of chess. It, the mindset is totally different and uh, I, hats off to him. What made you think you would like to have, have a go? I don't know, maybe midlife crisis, <laughs> possibly. I hit 40 and I thought, you know, what am I gonna do that I've never done before and something that's gonna give me a bit of self-confidence. Maybe full on boxing was gonna be a bit too much for me. So I sort of figured that, well, maybe mix it in with a bit of chess, it might be so heavy, but you know, I've learned actually that it's a pretty, uh, pretty heavy thing to do, as you've seen today. When you've done that heavy exercise and you go straight to the chessboard and you've got to get your mind in focus like that, and your sweat's going down on all of the pieces and you're kind of, your head's all over the place, but you've just got to focus. Yeah, it's an incredible buzz. And then when you play a good move and your endorphins are really high and the guy is on the back foot, you just get this other new, whole new endorphin rush again. It's amazing. If chess boxing seems like it was designed to be the ultimate test of brain and brawn, that's because it was. But by whom? The sport's origins are disputed. This photo shows brothers Stuart and James Robinson at a London youth club in 1978, clearly playing something not too dissimilar. But chess boxing caught on as a real sport in 2003, when a Dutch artist put on an event as an act of performance art. There have since been tournaments in Germany, Iceland, the US and Siberia. The first British event took place above a London pub in 2008. And since then, the UK has emerged as chess boxing's adopted home. Each new event staged by London chess boxing is bigger and more spectacular than the last. The pub days are long gone. Here are the basic rules. Each bout starts with a four minute round of speed chess. The moves and remaining times are displayed on a giant screen. Or does it go forward? Humans retreated, that's a very clever move. Brilliant move, it's very, very good at chess. A chess expert gives a soccer style running commentary. And Andrew takes the centre, which is the most important part of the board in chess. Chess is a bit like football in that sense. You have to take the midfield. Humans takes it back. The fighters wear headphones playing loud rock music so they can't get any clues from the announcer. When the four minutes are up, the clocks are stopped and there's a one minute break to remove the board, put on the gloves and then... They beat the hell out of each other in a two minute round of boxing conducted under professional rules. If there's no knockout, out comes the chessboard again, and the fight goes on for an agreed number of rounds until someone loses at something. On the chessboard, you can win by checkmate or if your opponent runs out of time. In the ring, you can win on points, by knockout, or if the referee, doctor or trainer thinks you've had enough. Keep an eye on the cornerman on the left. If you don't know the origin of the phrase, throwing the towel in, you're about to find out. This unusual sport attracts unusual people. What you've just seen is the first ever Bobby Fischer belt title fight between the heavyweight champions of the United States and Europe. Andrew, the fighting philanthropist McGregor, the vanquished American champion, is six foot nine, a photojournalist, he publishes manga, 
and does a lot of charity work. The victor, Hubert the Wardrobe Van Melik, six foot four, used to be an investment banker in the city. He now works for Amnesty International. And chess boxing is not just for men. This evening's card also features the first ever women's fight. Good timing, with women's boxing a new event at the London Olympics. This new sport is attracting a new audience. Almost no one here has seen either a boxing event or a chess match before, but there's something about the combination that fascinates them. First time at chess boxing, first time at chess, and first time at boxing. This is a triple crown of firsts this evening. If you look at the original Olympic sports, it was a test of mental and physical strength as well, and this, I think, is a very close equivalent to that. To get to be tough and smart at the same time, I like that. You know, prove you're not just all muscle. I mean, it's a totally mad idea, but actually it's not that different when you think about it because in both instances you're thinking, have the strategy, you're thinking about what you're doing, there's all the different moves going on, so yeah, it's not as mad as it appears. So, you know, the boxing game it is like a game of chess, isn't it? It's strike and counter strike. You're going up the left, you're going up the right, you're looking for weaknesses, you're looking for checkmate of your opponent. I don't know. One's about lamping the fucker, the other one's about outsmarting him. They don't seem too similar to me. In fact, they seem like chalk and cheese. But perhaps that's the whole appeal of it. It's crazy. Crazy it may be, but more and more people are joining the craze. There are around 150 chess boxers in serious training in the UK, and they just put on an extra training session at the Islington Boxing Club to keep pace with demand. It's, it's brought a different clientele to the boxing game, uh, whereas normally a box, the boxers are coming from the rough and t tumble areas around this area. Uh, we're getting t totally different clientele that's coming into the club, and that just spreads, and it's, it's good. Uh, it's, it's a really good thing and it's, it's putting boxing and chess all out there. People have stereotypes. The boxer's a big, muscly guy who's not very intelligent, and the chess player's the opposite. You know, he's sitting in a church hall all night, and he's never going to go running or hit anybody, is he? But in reality, there's a lot of overlap. The next chess boxing event takes place this evening. One of the featured fighters is doing some light training. Mike Bockley is a mental health nurse, caring for schizophrenics and autistic children. Ten months ago, he'd never heard of chess boxing, but after seeing a TV news report, he got in touch with the gym. Now, he's hours away from his first fight. Mike's a strong chess player. He's played at county level, but boxing is new to him. His training partner, Alan Riley, made his chess boxing debut at the last major tournament six months ago. Mike may be the better chess player, but Alan can offer him the benefit of his recent experience to help calm his nerves. How are you feeling about tonight? Well, I'm just starting to get nervous. I mean, during the week, I've had lots of things to do. You know, I've been at work and maybe I've been going for a run and it's been all right. But now I woke up this morning, I was feeling a bit funny. Hey, this yeah. is real actually, isn't it? And I've come down here and I'm realizing that it's about to, about to start, so to speak. Yeah. My advice is enjoy the ring walk. Enjoy the moment you step into the ring. Enjoy the, the crowd reaction because that was the highlight of the night for me. Just and get ready for a hard night's work. Exactly. What you want to do is get the crowd on your side so that when it's really tough, they'll be on your side and giving you support. So I've been proved as a person for doing it. When I really started to get into the boxing training, I think that changed me uh, because I was a little bit scared when I stepped in a boxing ring the first time. I still get nerves even now, all boxers do. But the idea is, day in, day out, you've got to face that and, uh, and you've got to deal with it. Hours later, Mike's moment of truth has come. It's the biggest event in chess boxing's short history. A sellout crowd of a thousand people has paid £25 a ticket. It's a sign of how far chess boxing has come and yet more pressure for Mike. Gym training doesn't prepare you for this.
Mike has an experienced professional trainer to help him tonight. As a rookie, he's fighting for glory rather than money, but that doesn't make it any less tense. His trainer is trying to keep Mike calm and focused. <laughs> Butterflies are kicking in, but uh, generally OK. I'm more interested to see what it's going to be like in there at the moment. And it's about 15 minutes to go, so uh, we'll see. Mike's opponent, Chris, is also a strong chess player. In fact, this is being billed as the highest ever combined chess ranking head-to-head -head in chess boxing history. The game is evenly poised, but Mike is taking less time over his moves. In the ring, too, they're evenly matched, with both men retaining their focus and discipline. Two more rounds go by, and they're still neck and neck. Mike's time advantage on the chessboard is starting to tell. Chris has barely a minute left, while Mike has nearly five. Chris throws caution to the wind and goes all out to win in the ring by knockout. But Mike resists. Things are now desperate for Chris. He has no time to consider his moves. His only hope is that Mike will make a mistake. But Mike holds his nerve, and Chris runs out of time. The gimmick that attracts people to begin with, but on the whole it is greater than the sum of its parts. It's uh, a whole new discipline, it's a whole new sport. It's a completely different game. Once you've been hit a bit and you, you go out there and it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not just chess anymore, it's chess boxing. That's a completely different sport. I'm very happy.